Today on PC Boosting, we'll be installing the Thermaltake Ring Plus 20 centimeter RGB fan in my old Antec 900 case. I'll also be putting in my new computer at high speed, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So uh, today we're gonna um, work on this. This is my old Antec 900 case. I had it since like 2008. I quit using it, gave it to him. He put some creative art on it. Uh, he used it for a while, up until about what, three years ago maybe? Three, three four. or four. And he switched to like, a different case. And I kind of just let it sit up in the attic. And then around Christmas time, we were thinking about doing something with it for one of his friends, because we were on a budget. And I was like, man, do I really want to give away this case? And so we started working on it. We, we spray painted the inside black. Hey, can you pull up that back screw? Yeah. I want to show you what it looks like inside. Here, take off that door. We spray painted it black and we actually drilled a bunch of these holes in the bottom. Can you see that? We got them all smooth and everything so that we could put a power supply um, face down because this case is actually, it was just when they were starting to figure things out and uh, the power supply fan was mounted up and uh, we were even working on it one time and a screw dropped down, got into the fan area and then it got stuck underneath this thing. I mean, it was had to take the thing apart to get a screw out. It sucked. So we also drilled some holes and put some rubber like grommets around them to protect them down here in the bottom. You can see on this side a little better. We actually made our own rubber grommets. Try to kill our own with Sharpie. Yeah, we didn't try, we did. Seeing uh, fans with these RGB fans. They're really awesome. We got them on Black Friday. They're thermal take fans. The only thing is um, I wanted to replace this top one. It's a big 200 millimeter with uh, this Cooler Master fan that I found, RGB. And uh, the only thing is it had a different plug. I knew this was gonna be an issue. Um, trying to get it to hook up to the, uh, the thermal take proprietary plugs, which I've got in the front. And I started working on it and I thought, you know what, forget it. And I bit the bullet and we went out and uh, I had to buy this. And this is cool, okay, no doubt, but it's also like 60 bucks. And the guys at Fry's actually hooked me up. I was complaining about the price and how it didn't go on sale. And, um, they price matched online, uh, like $3 off, which I'm grateful for. It covered my gas. So, let's check that out. We're gonna try to put that into here, okay? And there's a screw right here, and then there's these two clips, so we'll go ahead and take out the screw. Uh oh. Okay, you got the screw out. And now I have to pull back these two uh, clips. That one. And then there we go. Took out the fan. So it's important to note which side this rail is on. Right. Because, uh,. The new fans, it's, this usually is how all fans, they flow, like they suck in air this way, blow it out this way. So this was definitely exhausting hot air out the top of the case. So we gotta make sure that we're gonna follow that same airflow technique. All right, so how's this gonna go in? Um, with the rail, so it's gonna go in, and then probably for the cables, we'll put it this way. No. Yeah? Have or, them go or, out or the there. Well, they gotta go up that middle. What about? Yeah, I know, but like, so they'll come down the side, and then. Either way, up. I guess either way. I, mean, I feel like that would be a better way. So those clips aren't gonna work on this. No. So what's the plan? We could take out these screws right here, but no, they're too short. Well, yeah, we could. No. Take look, them out. Here's what's gonna have to happen. Put the fan over. No, it's not fitting flat. It's a little bit different size. You can see it is a different shape a little bit. It's 200 millimeters across like the other one, but it's catching these corners right here and here. So I think we need to grind down those corners. We're gonna modify this fan, which means we're gonna avoid the warranty, but we gotta do it because otherwise it's not gonna fit flush. Once it's, once it's in there flush, then we can put screw holes here, here. We can just screw the fan up to this.
saw. Where's that back? That one's not. I don't think this one's. This one's gonna be just. This one's having trouble. So it's not keeping it. You have to put pressure. Yeah, I'm gonna loosen it back out. These holes didn't quite match up perfectly. But they're gonna work. Okay. It's good. Alright. Alright, so now all you do is get it back together. You wanna do that tank? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. It's not that hard. Alright. Stuff we're going to be putting into his uh, new computer and we're gonna high speed across the build so let's get started This pin came out of this four pin Rolex and get closer, closer. They've got these little barbs right there. There's one bent backwards. That needs to be bent. I need to use a fingernail. Because when it goes in the hole, it's got to grab. I don't know if you can see that. I might have pushed it down too far. See the other side's very flat too. Let's see if I can get that one up a little. It's hard I'm trying to let y'all watch. There, just kind of pry it up. Now you can see from the side, they kind of stick up. So now I just need to put it back in. And you'll hear it click. Well, yeah, did you hear that little tick? <laughs> Now it should hold on. The only way to get it out is with a special tool, which I also have, but okay. So you just see that. Put in uh, the Ring Plus, the big 200 on top. These are both thermal take, and then the Pure Plus 12. I didn't show you how to install that, but I mean, they're just fans, and you saw that controller. So come, come here and take it, check. You see, uh, they turn out really nice. I, this is one of the modes I have it on. It's called Black Hole. So. There's the, the top one, it's pretty cool. That's a ring plus, yeah, it's got the ring around it. The other ones are just, it's called Pure Plus. They're still nice. 
turned out great. This is my retro case, I love it. All right, so here's the software. Um, remember these are a Pure Plus fans. Also, the top one's a Ring Plus, so you can actually tell it which fan you're using and it'll get the colors right and it knows about which fan it has. And you can change which modes you want. You have just th these different settings are pretty cool. Um, I like, let me see, I saved one. Black hole is what it's called. Anyways, uh, you can choose whatever you want. You can turn off colors. Uh, these are individual LEDs around it. It's pretty nice. I downloaded it from right here. I just did a search for Thermal Take Pure Plus download, and it was the first one on the list. You just come down here and hit download right there. Installing. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice. Uh, I really like that top fan. It's, I paid a lot for it, but I think it was worth it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through a couple of these settings real quick just to show you. But like, uh, here's the front, top one. And I can just go through different settings. Change solid colors, RGB. Here is the big one. Cause I've made, I've labeled it, I've labeled it, it's easy to find. You know, you can just, there's just different, different, different settings. Whatever, it's kind of limitless and you can have fun with it for a long time. And if you mess up, you save the profile and you can always come back to it.